There are few permissions that you need to, to give to Nemo Handy. So this is the main view. Um, let's start with um, the licensing part. So in the menu, you can see uh, in the bottom of the menu about. So in the uh, version section, we can see um, very useful information. So if you are brought to contact the NEMO support for any issue related to your measurement, then they will probably ask you for the device model, the firmware. Um, they will ask you if you have um, a customized firmware or not. So here we can find all these information. So we can see um, the device model. Uh, we can see the firmware information. And very important thing is the Nemo ID. So the Nemo ID is uh, our customized firmware. So you need to uh, give this information to the Nemo support if there is um, anything related to to your uh, tests. Uh, we can also find the Android version and uh, and your chipset. Then in the license, um, if there is already a license um, loaded into your uh, device, then you can see here the list of options uh, you the you can see the list of um, options included in your uh, base license. So here, for example, we can see that um, our that that my license um, supports um, the voice call testing, um, the forcing features, Volti. Um, the social media package. Uh, is anyone asking a question? OK, please mute yourself if you don't have any question. Um, yeah. Okay. And we can see that it also supports uh, the technologies from 2G, from GSM to 5G. We can see also Polka 3 support, uh, etc. So if we browse to licenses, we can see all the licenses that are, that are linked to uh, my uh, IMEI. I have many licenses because it's the device I'm using for my uh, technical supports activities. I will have only one license. Let me show you the uh, license which is loaded now to my device. So in your case, you have a perpetual license. So in license expiration, you will find unlimited. So you are allowed to use the license like forever. But in case of temporary licenses or for rental licenses, we will find uh, a license expiration date, like in this case. And then uh, there is the technical support expiration. So mine expire in August 2023. This means that if any handy version will be released after this date, I will not be able to uh, download it or use it. That's why the technical supports need to be uh, renewed um, every year. Then here in license available, we have the license quantity. Like I'm using my license, so there is zero license remaining. And then we have the license options. So here we can also see, check if any of the functionalities are supported by our license or not. And then we have the refresh button and the release. So if one day um, you are brought to um, do a factory data reset or uh, flash your mobile, you need to first release the license 
uh, flash the mobile and again come to Nemo Handy and acquire the license. Um, that's all what we can see in the licensing part. Any question? Okay. Um, then back to the main view. Uh, we can see here that we have uh, many predefined views in Nemo Handy. Um, we can like switch between views this way, or we can just swap right and left between the views. So. Um, there is uh, in the menu uh, the page settings so in the page settings we can see that there are actually many other views depending on the kind of test you are doing but you can make pages visible and hidden um, so you can if you see here visible it means that um, in the home page, this um, page is actually visible. OK. So in the first view, we can see the uh, it's the status view. So here we can see the login status. It's in idle. It's me. It means that we are not doing any uh, any tests. We are just in idle mode. Um, log file size as we are not recording anything. So the, this information is not available. Then we have the mobile free storage, the battery temperature, the CPU temperature, then the script status. So here we don't have um, a script loaded to handy, so we can't see it. Um, then we can find the system log. So, so we are not looking into any system, so we can see all the systems here. A uh, script is empty because we don't have script for the moment. Then the summary. So the summary we can find um, mini statistics um, by technology. So you can see a little row in the bottom of the screen, which means that there are remaining information. So we need to swipe like this between uh, pages to see uh, the informations. So here we don't have much things. OK. And then we have like if we do um, data testing, we have the application throughput view. We have also Volti view, voice quality, and R summary. The map view. So in your case, I think you don't have Nemo Cloud, but if we have Nemo Cloud, then we can see the connection here. OK. And let me go back to the home view. Yeah. Um, so here there are two um, way to start measurement. So we can just start an idle measurement. So without loading any uh, script, or they we have two ways to do a test. There is a manual test and there is a scripted test. So for the manual test, we can. We have here start test. And like we can choose to do uh, a simple voice call, a video call, an FTP transfer. Just I have to define here the number and click on call. Of course, before doing this, we need to start the recording. Like I start um, 
an idle uh, measurement, then I do a manual test. But this is like a kind of punctual test. It will not be repeated. Like I will do everything manually. Or there is, let me stop. Or there is a, a scripted um, way to measure. So here we have load and start script, and it will redirect us to the scripting page that we will see later. Um, so let me show you um, the settings. So we have the general settings. So if, for example, you are doing a voice uh, voice call testing and you have one handy that will call the second one but you will just put one of them um, just as a mock like it will just answer the calls we can here um, enable the answer and coming calls like it's an automatic way to answer the call and we can define a daily like don't answer before uh, five seconds are elapsed. Um, we can here also define a list of allowed phone numbers. We need just to enable this and add, sorry, and add a new phone number that is allowed to call my device. Um, here we can um, um, enable the airplane mode at the startup of the application. Uh, this is needed because um, when we do the airplane mode on off, uh, it means like we are forcing the mobile to register again in the EMS and enable handy to catch the SIP messages. Um, yeah, send crash reports. So this is like a functionality that allows to to handy to create like a crash reports if the application crashes. Yeah, for the automatic recovery. So if in the middle of your test handy crashes, uh, one handy uh, launch again. Um, it will so in if this if this option is actually disabled. So if I'm not enabling the automatic recovery, if handy crashes in the middle of my measurement, when handy uh, launches again, uh, it will ask me if I want to recover the measurement or not. But if the, if I enable the automatic recovery, then it will be done automatically. So Handy will not ask me if I want to keep the measurements or not. It will be automatically saved in my uh, results folder. Um, yeah, then uh, write debug log. So if one day there is an issue with any handy functionality, let's say uh, the forcing uh, functionality, then um, our R&D needs to the uh, debug log to like investigate the issue. So they will for sure ask you to share with them a debug log. So you can come here and enable, you can like let it enabled um, every time but it will like save in every measurement a debug log or you can just when uh, an issue happens come to gen the general settings and enable the debug log uh, right then we have the device label so it's we just uh customize our um 
our mobile name. So we will just, for example, if we are doing a benchmarking campaign and we have many operators, then for example, I can give this mobile uh, one orange. Like this, and this will be um, like very useful in the post processing. Then uh, here we can define uh, uh, set the um, the phone the phone number. I mean of this device. Um, here we can um, custom the operator's name. We just add the MCC MNC of the operator and we customize here the name. Yeah, here it's the screenshot resolution and format, etc. So the automated testing um, Nemo Cloud is um, required. So I guess you don't have it. And here we can enable uh, the MMS testing, but we need to set Nemo Handy as default map for that. Um, default app, sorry for that. Um, any questions? I'm sure you have. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I guess it means that everything is clear. Then we have the logins. Actually, we uh, we do support like Twitter, uh, testing, LinkedIn, Dropbox. So uh, before doing a script um, for Twitter testing, we need first to log in to Twitter in this login page. So, yes, Hossam? Yes, uh, just I give to each one uh, one handset uh, having handy. So okay. do we need to practice during the, the training or after the training? It's, it's as you want, it's up to you. I mean, maybe it's better to have in hand one handy. Just try to follow with me the steps to see like scroll between views. I mean, maybe you, you will have a question or, but for the practice itself, maybe it's better to do it after the training because we will not have enough time to do everything together. But again, it's up to you. Okay, okay. Okay, we can continue. can continue. Okay, great. As I said, so for the logins, if for example, there is functionality in Handy that allow us to upload our measurement files to Dropbox. We can do it, but before that, we need to come to the logins uh, page and log in to Dropbox, our Dropbox account. Same for Google Drive and uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. We need to log in before doing any, any test. Yeah, um, this is like if you want to um, set some settings for your charging, like um, ask Handy to power off if um, if the battery is under 20%, for example, ask Handy to power on if uh, the battery power is above 20%. So it might be useful. We can also uh, put limits in the charging uh, in the charging. Then we have here. OK. Um, do you remember the views that we have seen here? So it's for if, for example, you are you are just doing uh, a voice quality testing, which means that you are not uh, going to need all these views. Uh, the data views, uh, the Wi-Fi views, etc. So you can just come here in page settings, make visible only the pages you need, and then uh, save your configuration. And you can just uh, copy it 
uh, send the config file to the other handies and replay the same view. So you can, as I said, send it to your colleagues or to the other uh, mobile uh, used in the campaign, or you can use it for your next measurements. I mean, every time you have a voice uh, quality testing, you will use the same config. Um, OK, so here we can choose between metric or imperial like feet, uh, inches, etc. So here uh, we can use the prefix for the throughput. And there is something here called serving info. Let me show you something. You see here, if I swipe between the views, there is um, like some informations that are pinned in the top of my screen like channel, etc. OK, this called the uh, serving uh, info. So if, for example, I want to, there are few informations or few parameters that, that I always want to see when I swipe between pages. They are, for example, the most important thing. So I want to see the Asanar, um, uh, most no scores, um, RSRP. So I will just come here, uh, enable the uh, show serving in full, and then I can here select like it's um, um it's kind of filtered by parameter and per service so i can find many parameters here let's say i want to see the lte pci um, the snr average um, okay and save my change. OK. OK, so here in the section pinned in the top of each uh, view, I can see. OK, I can, there is something wrong. Let me check this again, but the principle of this functionality is to pin some parameters in the top of each view. I will check this later. I will just note it right here. Uh, if you have any question, just interrupt me, please. Um, yeah, so um, there are, we will see later the notifications, but there are three types of notifications. There are icons, audio, and um, there is a third type, which is a pop-up, yeah, a pop-up message. Um, so we can here define the uh, audio volume. And now let's see the notifications. So as I said, there are three top, 
types of notifications. Uh, let's say I want to have no due um, no due notification when system change. So I can set up this. We have here again um, few um, predefined notifications. So we can see that if GPS is disconnected, then I will have uh, an icon uh, notification. So the, the icons are uh, displayed in maps and graphs. The audio are just uh, audio played. We can define it here. So where is the audio? Yeah, it's it says uh, GPS connected. And for GPS disconnected is GPS disconnected. So we have three notifications uh, configured for these parameters. So we will have an icon displayed on all the map uh, on the map and all graphs, we will have an audio notification and a pop-up message. So the pop-up is displayed in the bottom of the, uh, the screen for a few seconds. And if you have like any wearable uh, accessories like smart watches, you can also configure notifications there. Um, yeah, so as I said, there is many predefined uh, notifications. And you can, if you think there is something that you need, but is not here, you can create your your own notification here. Uh, choose the label, just give it a name. And here we have all the parameters that we can set notification for. So it really depends on on your uh, use case. If, for example, I'm doing Twitter testing and I want to have a uh, handy notifying me if connection to Twitter fails. So I just select Twitter connection failure and uh, I can set uh, an audio notification. So I need to put here the message. Uh, and there is also an icon, so I have to select here audio and maybe a pop up message. And let's say I want to have Twitter connection failures. Connection failure. Ah, not it. Uh, Twitter. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. Okay. Then uh, we come to the login section. So if, for example, you have uh, you are doing uh, a campaign in uh, many regions and let's say today I'm doing uh, my tests in Paris, so I will ask Handy to add Paris as a prefix in all my measurement files. So this will be um, very needed if you do a campaign in different regions or I don't know if you are planifying a campaign in many days. So you can, for example, at day one, day two, day three, just to be able to uh, differentiate between your um, uh, log files in the post processing. So the auto login means that um, when we start a script, the um, the login will automatically start, and once the um, script finishes, um, it will also uh, end the recording automatically. So this is very useful. 
the log file splitting so if you are doing um, a test um, like I don't know four or five hours of drive test uh, which means that um, the um, measurement file maybe I mean you will need to split because it will maybe be a big uh, a measurement file so you can um, just fix uh, size limits to your uh, to your log file so there are two ways to do this we have a flexible and fixed with in fixed if um, the uh, log file uh, reaches that limit in the um, in the middle of the script it will um, um, stop the recording immediately so even if we are in the middle of the script but for the flexible if uh, the limit is reached reached sorry uh, the um, handy will wait until that uh, occurrence uh, of script finish then it will stop the recording so we can fix the limit in uh, file size or in minutes or uh, we have a functionality called nested script which means that we can add a script uh, into another one so we can also uh, split um, the log file per nested script Okay, for the measurement upload, so if you want to upload your measurement files to uh, your Dropbox account, uh, your FTP server, or whatever, you need to come here and create a new, um, a new configuration for your FTP or Dropbox or whatever you want. Um, yeah, we have everything like detailed in the uh, user guide. Ah, I just forgot to say that the user guide is also available from Handy application. So you just need to go to uh, the three. Okay, lost the connection. My device is rebooting, sorry. If you think I'm quick in my explanation, uh, just tell me, please. Okay, as I said, you can um, not synchronize. Okay, um, so as I said, uh, you can access to the Nemo user guide from the application. From the application, you have the three bars. 
the menu, then you have help. Let's open it in OneDrive. So here I have the user guide of Nemo Handy. And in the user guide, you will find everything uh, in details. Uh, for example, here you have the manual testing, uh, SMS, uh, social media calls, and then we have the scripted uh, testing. We have also uh, all the settings explained in the user guide. We have all the measurement views that we have so together. So if, for example, you have any parameter in the measurement view that is not clear to you, then you can come here and everything is detailed. Uh, let's go back to the application. And I guess we were talking about the login. Yeah, about the upload. So is the upload uh, clear to you? You need just to create a new configuration and configure your upload way. Um, the, back, uh, the, the questionnaire is um, a feature. Of, it's a request that um, it's orange friends request. Uh, they have many people uh, doing the drive testing, so uh, you can configure a questionnaire to uh, display on the start, on pause, on resume, or on stop. Just you can, for example, do show on start. Yeah, there is um, by default one. So you need to, there is an explanation, an explanation sorry, in the user guide to show you how to create your questionnaire. I mean, if you have any questions to ask to your to the person that will do the measurement, then you will find uh, that um, questionnaire with answers in um, in ha in handy folder. Uh, the background login uh, means that even if you are in uh, idle mode, you are not measuring. Um, handy will. Uh, capture um, will do some captures of the problems only. So this is useful. Then to have the PCAP files, we need to uh, enable the IP capture. And then it's for indoor measurements. Um, Real time time reporting is a solution with Nemo uh, Nemo Cloud. Sorry. So the GPS we can use uh, the internal GPS, the devices GPS, or an external GP GPS. Um, yeah, here we have like the settings for the map. Maybe it's not very important to go through the, all through them but yeah classic settings for map um, with handy we can do uh, indoor measurements so we need uh, to have um, for example if we want to um, test network in an airport or stadium or a uh, shopping mall we need the uh, that building uh, floor plan. So we go to floor plan and we click on add. So we can just uh, take a picture of the like emergency uh, exit plan or something like that. Let me just add something like we can just take a picture. Uh, Okay. Give it a name. Indoor. And then in the map view, mm. I can see here my plan. And then um, when we start the measurement, we have to um, 
add the markers. So if we have a plan, then we will um, be in a certain in our initial um, position and start putting the markers uh, every time we uh, move on. Will you perform indoor testing or? I mean, if you have an idea on your uh, incoming projects. Sam? <laughs> no, we only work on outdoor. OK, OK, then uh, let's move on. OK, then we have uh, here the BTS. Um, we can um, just load our BTS file. Um, how to add a BTS file to your handy? Uh, let me show you. Uh, there is uh, in handy for in handy in internals in your device in internal storage. There is uh, a folder named Nemo and then handy. So we are we have many folders. We have the config folder. We can find there uh, the configuration, the views configuration that we saw together. We have the results here. In the results, we find uh, all the measurement files. So if you choose to not use any FTP to upload your measurements, uh, for the post processing, you need to uh, copy uh, your uh, your measurement file from this folder, and there is also um, something called BTS. Yeah. You need to pass your BTS file in this folder. Once done, it will be visible here in select BTS file. So we will find it here. We can uh, encrypt our BTS file. Um, we can uh, show the BTS cells on map and we can also add, uh, modify the uh, cells like colors and size on the BTS file. Uh, we can also add some cell information so that information will be displayed on the map. OK, now the voice quality. So. We, we need first to um, define who will be initiate the uh, who will be initiating the um, the voice quality? So we uh, always, not always. It's it's your choice. But I I choose here for example. I choose here for example um, the color in the color initiating the voice quality. We need to choose uh, an audio sample. Uh, so we need to choose, of course, the the same on the two sides. Then here I will ask Handy to save the audio samples if the not most or most score is under three. So this is the uplink volume that we will let in default. So here we have the Polka version. Um, and here we have uh, the another synchronization way so here if it's disabled it means that we are using the default um, synchronization and then we can use call sequencer or a nemo server to do uh, voice quality testing and then you can see ota updates um, so here we can uh, check if, for example, let me show you something. I have this handy version, so it's 4.81. Uh, 
and I want to check if there is a newest uh, handy version available. So in the menu, uh, sorry, menu settings and OTA updates, I will check for updates. Yeah, and it says that there is a newer version. And we can see that there are um, something that have been uh, corrected in this version or added. So it depends on the version, of course. That's all for this settings. Any questions before starting the script? Okay, so let me uh, just a few seconds to connect my uh, other handy. Ah, no, let me start with the scripting in general. So in the menu, we can find on the top of the menu the scripts. So we can here see all the scripts that I have previously created. So we have here a search option if there is like many and you don't you want to look just for one script like I will look for a photo script. And then we have a new script. So we have here add to add a new comment. We can see that we have many comments. Let's say, um, as I said before, it's um, recommended to start your script by um, an airplane mode just to make sure that the device is correctly uh, registered to EMS and SIP are correct, are catched by handy. And then we add a wait. So wait, we have many options. So we can uh, ask handy to use a random wait time. There is a time synchronization point if I use this, let's say 30 seconds, which means that when handy arrives to this comment, the wait comment, it will check if 30 seconds has uh, have been elapsed since the uh, script started or not. So if not, it will wait until it elapsed. Is it clear? Yes. OK. Or we can simply like define um, our wait duration. We can say, but at most five seconds or something like that. We can uh, add, uh, we can. Um, add a condition to that, like wait until system is GSM or until uh, system is LTE, or we can add a custom condition. And here we can have like mini combination. It depends on what you really want to do, but we can do here many combinations. No. Uh, so we have added the five seconds just to be sure that um, um, our device is again um, attached to the, the network. Then let's say that I want to do a, a voice quality testing. So this 
uh, A device will call the B device and again B device will call A device. So I will add a voice call comment. Uh, add here the number. Let me just add the correct or whatever I have. Uh, let me use this one. OK, we can ask Handy to call for a random duration or I can define the call duration. The timeout, so if this timeout elapsed and the phone is not connected, then uh, it will uh, drop the call. OK, and here. Um, Proceed to the next comment after call is completed. I will here then def define the uh, voice quality. I have to choose my sample uh, file. Let me choose French. And uh, as we saw together, we have to like ask Handy to save. Uh, the sample um, if most is under this uh, score, but I can say like save all the sample. OK, applying volume we will use the default and uh, we choose our Polka version. Once done, I save my comment. So sometimes um, I can edit my comment here. So sometimes um, the uh, call uh, setup time like takes maybe, I don't know, four seconds. So um, the call will be disconnected before uh, the uh, two minutes are elapsed. So what I can do to just make sure that my call duration will be two minutes, I will add a weight of two minutes, like put it just before the voice call stop, but I will force the stop. So when the two minutes are elapsed, I will force stop the call. So here I'm sure that my call will uh, will be a two minute call. Um, so between each comment, we need to like define a wait of five or ten seconds uh, just to be sure that uh, the call has been uh, really completely released. And then this mobile will answer a call coming from the other handy, the B handy. Then I will add answer call two minutes. I will also define its the um, voice quality. I will choose the same sample file and same. Um, Polka version. We can uh, we can do the same like add uh, a weight. I don't know if we can force stop. No, we can't. So the, the duration here will be for sure two two minutes. Um, yeah. So here, if you can see, we have. The script will be repeated 1000 times, but like it's not very practical to just do an airplane mode uh, 1000 times because it will consume time and it's not very needed. I mean, if we are uh, registered in EMS correctly one time, then there is no need to, to do that every time. So we will just add a loop. Um, just before um, 
the voice call. So I will add a loop. OK, so for the loop, I can choose a duration. So I say like play this script for 10 minutes or I can define the number of iterations, say 100. Or I can, uh, as you so add um, a condition like it will end until and then I can custom my condition, but I, we will change it to. So here I need to just. OK, so here I will. Down my call comment. And up the rest. So everything the, the uh, voice call start and answer are both into my loop. OK, and I will add a wait after my. Call is ended. OK, so I have um, a functionality to check my um, my script syntax, so it check it checks if um, I mean if there isn't any uh, anomaly like in the phone number or it will just check the syntax of the script. So it says that the script verification is OK. And then save and I will just give a name to my scripts. Voice quality. Training. And we need to do uh, the same on the other mobile. Do you have any question regarding the scripting part? I mean, only what we did, the voice quality. Yes, for this one, we have uh, added a comment uh, of answering. Uh, while we I, ca I can't hear you well, Rastlan, sorry. <laughs> Can you repeat your oh. question from the beginning? Yeah, for this script, we had uh, uh, answering a question in in the in the originating or the initiating uh, one. Am I right? Let me share again the scripts. 